All right, today we are going to make a snowman using Blender 2.81. All right, I'm going to hit the letter X to delete the cube. And bef before I do the body of the snowman and the head, I'm going to do the cone for the nose or carrot first. So you need to hit Shift key and the letter A, Shift and A at the same time. Then go to mesh, go down to cone. And then go down to add a cone right here. Click on it. And we want to take this radius down, making it more skinny. So I'm going to keep clicking. I could have just typed it in about 0.4 meters okay that's for my radius and then I'm going to hit the letter G and move this off to the back and now I'm going to do shift a mesh and we're gonna go down to spear. We're gonna make a UV spear. And while we have it up here, I'm going to right click on the spear and hit shade smooth. Now I'm gonna go to number one on the number pad. Always hit the numbers on the number pad, never the numbers above the letters and I see the body I'm going to hit the letter S and make it a little bit bigger then I'm going to right click on it and I'm going to duplicate object so we're going to hit duplicate object and then while it's white drag it down making the bottom of the snowman Then I'm going to hit the letter S and make the bottom is a little bit bigger than the middle part of the body. Then go back and click on the upper body of the snowman. And I'm going to right click, duplicate, drag it up, hit the letter S, make it the head smaller. Then I'm going to hit the letter G to grab it to move it back down always hit G if you want to move something click on it and hit the letter G and when you see that white line around it that means you can move it now I'm going to hit the letter 3 that's the side view that's the side view what we're going to do now is take this cone click on it right click on it and hit smooth and let's take it hit the letter G and move it to the front other side then hit the letter R the letter R is for rotate and then we're going to rotate it then hit the letter S make it a little bit smaller Hit the letter G to move it back towards the snowman. Now we are going to hit number one again on the number pad. And then I'm going to hit the G and let's move it and put it in front of the face. And then on the number pad, hit the number seven. Number seven. That's the top view. Seven is the top view. Hit the letter G and we can move it back towards the face to the head. And there we go. Now while we are doing this, let's go ahead over here to materials. The material property is this icon right here. It's going to be the next to last one down. It's going to be material properties. And when we click on the material properties, we're going to go up to new. 
and go down to base color and we're gonna click on that white and I'm gonna take this down to the color I want for the nose or the so if it's a, if it's a carrot I want it to be orange but you can make any color you want okay it doesn't change on the screen but it is is there just just believe it okay now let's go back to number one and let's go to file save and make sure you go ahead and type in snowman and if you don't want to specify gender then just type in snow person and hit save blend file it's going to automatically save as a blender file now we are going to add some eyes to the uh, snowman so we're going to click on the head I'm going to right click duplicate object hit the letter S Make it smaller, hit the letter G, to grab it, make it smaller, I'm going to zoom in, hit the letter, hit the number 7 on the number pad. We're going to hit the letter G to grab it, and then we'll take it and put it in the front. Hit number one, see how it looks. Put it up higher. Number seven. And while we have it, let's go ahead down to materials, the material properties, and hit new material. And let's make it, I'm going to do black. If you want to do a different color, you can change the color you want. Like if I decided I want blue. And I can go down, make it darker blue. Or keep going until it's black. It's up to you. I'm going to do a real dark blue. For the eyes. Then I'm going to right click on it duplicate it while it's white go ahead and drag it to the other side hit number one see how it looks grab it and put it in the right place took a mouse wheel scroll around I hold the mouse wheel down and I can scroll around to see how it looks from all angles. Click on that, hit the letter G, move it in so it more. Make any adjustments that you need to make. Now I'm going to click on one of these eyes and I'm going to duplicate it we can just hit shift and the letter D we can just right click on it I'm going to now hit number three on the number pad for my side view G to push it in then I'm going to hit right click duplicate right click duplicate and while it's white, so I'm going to move it down. Give me at least three buttons on the chest. On that belly. Rotate it around. Hit number one. See how it looks. And this is where you can grab everything and put it in the right location. That's why it's it's always good to use all viewpoints when you're making something. 
because it's three-dimensional, not just front and back.